Hello and welcome to the lesson on the Cradle to the Grave by Alter Bridge. This video is going to be split up in two sections. In the first one we're going to talk about Mark's guitar, Mark's guitar's part, and in the second one we're going to look at Malax's part. So if you're interested in the part that includes solo and main riffing, go ahead and skip to this timestamp that you're going to see right now on the screen. And also all the tabs that are going to appear in this video are going to be available to download. <laughs> are going to be available to download. They are going to be very helpful when you will practice the song on your own. So, without further ado, do, let's just jump right jump into in, it. Let's just jump in. Let's <laughs> According jump to the alterbridgenation.com, Mark plays in the F sharp minor. Mark plays in the open F sharp minor tuning, which means he plays in C sharp, A, F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, and C sharp. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, the song is very easy. In the intro, you have this progression. You play it three times. up on the 8th fret of the low C sharp string. And then comes the main riff. So since the guitar in the verses is acoustic guitar, and as I know it, Mark plays acoustic guitar in the song, it's not an obligatory to play the main riff in this song, but I assume you want to jam to this track, so you'll have to learn this. first verse of this song. Now you can play it with fingerstyle, without a pick, or with hybrid picking, like I will do, or just with a pick, whichever you will prefer. I think the right way to do it is with fingerstyle, but who cares? Uh, in the first verse, what, what I would recommend you to do is to learn the basic phrase first. have to do is to learn four fills that you're going to add to the ending of your basic phrase. For example, in the first verse we have three basic phrases with fill 1, fill 2 and fill 3. Uh, this is how it's going to sound. the chorus. It's basically the same as the main riff, but you will have to pay attention to this sync up and you'll be good. have to play our basic phrase without any endings, fills, and we are now at the second verse of our song. So after you played the basic phrase with now no fills, uh, you will have to play three basic phrases with fill four, fill one, and fill... let me check... fill three. Yeah, right in this order, don't forget it. Here's how it's going to sound. Mm -hmm. 
we have our chorus again. It's the same as the first chorus, so you don't need to learn anything new. Start from the feature here, so I forgot about this part of the bridge. After the chorus, which you play as usual, nothing different there. After the chorus, you will have to play this. Uh, all fives. <laughs> then... Five zero zero three three zero zero two then four five four four five seven zero and after that we are going to another part of the bridge or dare I say, Alter Bridge. Disgusting, I need to go. And right after that, we're going to our bridge section. Uh, I can't think of any joke right now. Okay. <clears throat> so the bridge sections played like that. <laughs> Again, while Mass sings. And right after that, there comes the solo. And in the, in the solo, we're just... We're just... Uh, how's it called? Okay, we just play these chords. attention, uh, last bar is going to be split in half, and right after that we're going to play 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, 7, 5, 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, like that. And there's going to be a chorus again. From the And you play this chorus two times, mm -hmm. and after the second chorus, you're going to go back to the bridge section. The same stuff as after the solo, you split this bar in half and play now this combination of frets. One, three, five, seven, eight, seven, five. One, three, five, seven, eight, seven, five, three, five. A little bit different. So that's how it's going to sound. And that's it. That's it for the max part. Yeah, not so difficult. Um, now we're going to look at Mark's part and I'm going to switch to my electric guitar and excuse me if if the scenery is going to completely change because I have to record this video in two different times probably. So yeah, Mark Miles part now. So now on to the Miles' part. Okay, Miles' guitar is in drop C sharp tuning. The, the basic alter bridge tuning in which all of these songs uh, basically all of their songs recorded. So it's going to be uh, D-sharp, then A-sharp, F-sharp, C-sharp, G-sharp, and C-sharp. Okay. He starts in the intro with volume swells. It's the technique where he, he or you gradually increase the volume of your guitar. So that's going to sound like that. And 
here you end up on the 8th fret of the low C sharp string. And then comes the main read. And there comes the first verse where only Mark's guitar is playing. After the first verse, they play chorus. And the sync up thing is, of course, remains the same in the man's guitar. So they play. This sounds familiar for now, but here, what comes next? At, in the last bar of the second verse, you will have to play 16 notes with gradually increasing volume. Gradually. <laughs> you don't have to use your volume knob, just use palm muting and that's going to sound cool. Okay, so the last bar is going to be... Next thing, we have chorus again. Nothing new, you just play what was in the first chorus. And then after the first chorus, we're going to play our first part of the bridge. It's going to be your basic C minor chord, if you don't mind tuning. And then 5003. Three zero zero two. Four five four. Four five seven zero. Got it? Cool. And now the second part of the bridge. Mark plays this part. Okay, but we, in fact, play triplets with an open string. Now, for someone it may uh, seem very intimidating, but trust me, it will be very easy once you will play it slow and in gradually increase your speed. So here's how it's going to sound. <laughs> Play it one more time. And after that, we are... Uh, what? And after that, we are at our solo. Let's do it. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of numbers on a lot of number strings. So bear with me for this two or three minutes. And I promise this solo will be easy to learn. I think I will play the entire solo for you. So it's going to be sound like this. Okay, I butchered a little bit the solo, but I promise you it will going to be clean. So, how do we start this solo? In the first bar, there is a pattern in which you play the second, uh, an open F sharp string every second note. Okay, so the first note is going to be 22nd fret of the B string. B string, it's actually a sharp string in our case. And then we play 17th fret of the 3rd string 19 20 of the 2nd string 15 of the 3rd string 
and then no open string just goes to it just goes to the uh, 19 then 17 15 17 on the fourth string then you slide to the 12th fret and then again slide to the 10th fret of the 4th string and then you play 13 10 of the 5th string or 5th string 5th string and you have the whole note bend on the 6th string on the 10th fret be careful with tuning the notes okay th that is the first phrase and then comes this pattern 10 12 of the fifth and the fourth string 12 14 of the fourth and the third string then 15 Okay, 15th and 18th of the 3rd and the 2nd string and then 17th, 20th frets of the 3rd and 2nd string and then we have 15th and 15th, 15th and 18th frets of the 2nd and the 1st string That's a lot, okay <laughs> And after that we have 15, 18, 15, hammer on pull off. Then 18, 15, 18, 15. <laughs> and then we have a bend on the 20th fret, a double bend. Then 15, 15, a uh, bend on the 18, and then you pick 18th fret of the first string and let both string ring. Good, that's the second phrase, and then we have this passage. We play. 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10. You can play with alternate picking, but I suggest you, suggest you to use legato or hammer on plus. Okay, next square is going to be 10, 13, 10, 12. The same pattern. 10, 13, 10, 12, 10, 13, 10, 12, 10, 12. <laughs> and next one is going to be on three strings, but it actually ends up using only two strings that in the middle. Okay, 13, 15, 12, 15, 12, 15, 12, 15, 12, 15, 12, 15, 12. 12 <laughs> So as a whole it's going to sound like this mm -hmm. Good And then we slide to the 18th fret of the second string And then we have 15, 18, 15 Then slide to the 13th fret and then hammer on on the 15th fret and the pull off on the 13th fret. And then we end up on the 15th fret of the 3rd string. And after that we have our bend on the 18th fret. You pick it two times. Uh -huh. And then the bend on the 20th fret of the second string and it's actually is going to be a whole and a half note bend so be prepared to be confident on this one ah. okay and after we make a bend 
we pick 18th fret of the first string and then 18th of the second string <laughs> Okay, after the band, 18th, 18th, and again, 18th on the first string. And we end up on the 20th fret of the second string. I hope this is not too complicated, because I tried. Okay, so this is how it's going to sound. Mm -hmm. And when we are here... We play again 18, 20, 18, slide to the 15, 18, 15, slide to the 13, and then rest on the 15th fret of the third string. And after that, we have our 12, 15, 12, 12, 15, 13, 15 bend on the 15th fret. Again, it's a whole note and a half band. And we return and play 15, 14, 13. And then we play 15th fret, 12, 15, 15, 12. <laughs> Good. And we have come to our last passage that is going to be very quick, but it's actually very easy. And of course, once you will not force yourself, it's going to be easy. As I said, okay. Okay, so uh, the first four of these passages is going to be 15, 13, 15, 13. So you play one note 15, and then you start. Da -da -da -da. Next four is going to be 13, 15, 13, 15. And then next four is going to be 12, 15, 13, 15. And next four is going to be 15, 13, 15, 13. Okay. And you end up on the 17th fret of the first string. 18 band. 18, 20 band. 22 band. 22. Yeah, high pitch. Nice. And that's it. We have learned our solo. Nice! Good job, everybody. We learned everything in about Cradle to the Grave. One last thing. In the intro, you hear this band. So, it's a, of course optional, but if you want to learn this, this is... Uh, this is bands on the 7th fret of the 3rd string. A uh, half of a note band, pre-band. So you have to be very careful with hitting those pre-bands. And then a uh, whole note and a half pre-band. Again, you may you may need a, a lot of practice to actually perfect those. Bands. I'm not saying that I am the master of these bands because when I was learning this cover, I was very bad at it. So you may need some time. So I'm just, just preparing you. Okay. Uh. And then after that, we have our band on the fifth fret. A whole note band, and then you return. And then you play uh, a band on the 5th fret. And then return. And that is how the first verse starts. Thank 
Thank you guys for watching this video lesson on the Cradle to the Grave by Alter Bridge. I hope this video and tabs will be helpful in the process of learning the song and practicing it and improving your guitar playing and having fun while playing the song. Thank you to these people who actually encouraged me to make this guitar lesson. One of them has requested this song and one of them is my patron on my Patreon page. So leave your suggestions in the comments if you want some lessons, some more lessons. Or if you want a guaranteed lesson on anything you want, you can go to my Patreon page and look at the options there. Thank you. I will see you in the next cover. Bye.